How to put things into a babysitting fun bag. A babysitting fun bag is one way to bring fun new things to keep the children amused while you're in charge. It can be filled with all sorts of things you might have at home, as long as they're safe, age appropriate, and don't go against anything the parents would prefer for their children. In this article, you'll get an idea of the sorts of things that might work for your babysitting ventures. Part 1 Choosing a Suitable Bag 1. Get a big bag. The bag needs to be easy to carry or wear, as well as having sufficient space to carry the fun items you want to take with you. Suitable bags include a backpack or a drawstring bag. Given that the bag may need to carry a fair weight, choose one that is sturdy and strong. Look for a bag with pockets or holders. These can be handy compartments for dividing the different items up, while still being able to find them easily. Part 2 Research the Children 1. Know your audience. Before you choose the items to add to the bag, be guided by the children you'll be babysitting. Know their ages, personal likes and dislikes, hobbies, interests and what sorts of things they already have in the house. Also ask their parents if there are things that the children are not allowed to do or play with. If you are bringing food, be aware that this can be a very touchy subject. If the children are on a special diet mom and dad think matters, don't even try to foist your food onto the kids or there may be trouble. Be alert for allergies and weight, related issues, and obey the parents' instructions. If the parents are happy for you to bring candies, be reasonable and only bring a few, this isn't an excuse to sugar fuel the kids. Part 3 Choosing Items to Add to the Fun Bag 1. Add Books to the Bag Depending on the ages of the kids, put different books into the bag. Being able to read and show books the kids haven't seen in their own collection will keep them entertained and interested. Children under one would enjoy baby board books with rhythm and short stories. Books that you can touch and feel are also great. For example, one, four-year-olds would enjoy Dr. Seuss, five, seven-year-olds would enjoy early reader books, eight-plus-year-olds would like good chapter books. 2. Bring some toys. While there are going to be toys already at the place, new toys can be exciting and will keep the children interested for the visit thanks to the novelty. You may need to ask the parents first, to be sure that the toy isn't one the children already own. Babies would enjoy rattles and anything that shakes. They would also like mobiles or activity gyms, activity quilts, plush toys, or bright baby toys. Toys that squeak such as play cubes or soft balls are other toys for babies. Toddlers, one, three-year-olds, would like baby dolls, bubbles, any toy that is colorful and looks real, or pretend vehicles designed for toddlers. Girls four, eight would probably like dress up and makeover things. Some crafts that are not too detailed but more than coloring work as well. Bring over some simple card and board games designed for this age. Nine plus is a bit more trickery but most of the time kids that age like bingo and other classic board games. They also like friends and girls will probably like more sophisticated crafts that are detailed. Children this age also love age-appropriate video games, bring a few over, though you should be sure they do not spend more than an hour of your babysitting time playing them. Tomboys would like footballs and soccer balls. Toddler boys would probably enjoy duplos. Four, eight-year-olds might like car toys, trucks, etc. Apps on your iPad might prove fun for the kids if they haven't seen your games or educational apps yet. 3. Try Movies Bring along an age-appropriate movie, either a DVD or one on your electronic device. Check the rating and always ask the parents if it's okay to show the movie. For ages 1, 3, choose ones for this age group. For 3-year-olds, bring over Dora or Paw Patrol. For ages 1, 2 try Baby Einstein. For ages 4, 8, Disney princess movies are popular for girls in this age group, boys would like cars, all dogs to heaven, etc. For ages 9 plus, classic ones like Lion King are usually okay for kids 9 plus. 4. Add in extras. For things every kid will enjoy, stuff for forts usually entertains everyone. Bring an old sheet or two, and some comfy cushions. Of course, you could also check with the parents to see if they have bulkier things like cushions and pillows that they don't mind you using to build a fort. Puppets are often enjoyed by children of all ages, especially if you're entertaining and funny when putting on a show with the puppets. Try finger puppets for two, four-year-olds and simple hand puppets for children birth, age one. Stickers are a great addition. They're light, 
fun to play with and can be used to make amazing collages, pictures and personal books. Dress-ups can be fun. Throw in a few funny pieces of clothing and clown wig for a fun game. 5. After you've packed your bag, remember to take it with you each time. After a few times, you'll get used to what to put in the bag and what to leave out, as well as rotating the items to prevent boredom if you babysit the same kids regularly. Enjoy the experience and share your ideas with others to help them make great fun bags too. Tips If available, take a babysitting and CPR class for all of those emergency situations. Put in things like stickers or little fish crackers to use to encourage good behavior for when that kid you're babysitting just doesn't want to do what he or she is told. Warnings If you are not comfortable with babysitting kids under a certain age, do not accept the job. No amount of fun bags will make up for caring for little beings if you feel out of your depth. Make sure toddlers and babies don't have anything smaller than their fists. Small pieces can be a choking hazard for children under the age of three. If you get frustrated with a baby because of non-stop crying and such, put the baby in a safe place in your sight and take a break.